Today, my daughter Daphne is here for the how-to because she is taking you step-by-step to her own skin regimen. Listen, I'm a little biased, right? But I believe all my daughters are the smartest, most beautiful, elegant creatures on earth. Ha! You can fact check me on that if you want. <laughs> but independent of that, Daphne, I am sort of curious, why have your skin tutorials become so popular on social media? Well, first of all, I have to say, it, I think that social media is a fun place where you can play and experiment with things that you genuinely love. I happen to genuinely love all things beauty and skincare, all of it, because it just makes you feel good. And I'm not an expert. I'm not a, a dermatologist or anything like that. So I think when I show people the kind of ways and the tips and the tricks that I've found that really work for me, they know they can do it too. It's like, if you can do it, I can do it. And I am a hunter. I'm always on the hunt for the latest and the greatest, the things that really deliver results. I don't have time to mess around with things that don't work. So I think people appreciate that. I get to the point. So in today's how-to, I want to share Daphne's best finds to cleanse, renew, and tone your face. The first one is called Gua Sha. Gua Sha. Gua Sha. Gua Sha. Gua Sha. Gua Sha. A type of facial massage using this little stone. It's said to help relieve tension in the face. You know, reduces puffiness, inflammation. But here's how it works. Gua Sha is one of the oldest recorded forms of traditional Chinese medicine treatment. Gua means to scrape, while Sha translates as toxins and pathogen. Gua Sha literally means to scrape away disease. This therapy involves using tools with a rounded, smooth edge. A lubricant liniment is first applied to the skin to assist with gliding. Gentle stroking and scraping an area of the skin surface repeatedly in one direction. The aim is to activate blood circulation and dissipate blood stasis based on traditional Chinese medicine theory. Gua Sha has long been part of folk therapy and widely used by the Chinese in ancient times and is still used today. So I've made a chart here showing the movements yes. that you're gonna actually uh, put the stone through. And we're gonna put this chart on DrOz.com. That you were originally a skeptic. Well, can I just point out one thing from the video too, is she was saying Gua Sha. So I, I think there's actually some functionality to knowing that this is a technique you can make your own, but there are some patterns you can follow that really does make, that makes sense. Again, this is about detoxifying the skin by stimulating the lymph system, which as you well know, is a very thin layer underneath your skin that your body uses to shed the toxins and excrete them from your body. And you actually need to manually stimulate it sometimes to really efficiently move it along. And so this is some of the strokes you wanna follow. And what's interesting here is you always wanna be working upwards. So we're gonna do at the chin, working up from the nose out to the outer cheek, working across, but always in that upward motion, we're working against gravity. We are lifting the skin back up. But the best part, Dad, you are going to love the neck massage part. And this is really like a face massage you can do at home because how often are any of us getting out for facials these like days? like a substitute teacher over there. I feel like I, know, I need a pointer. I love this. Right, so I'm not going to normally, just so you guys know, you have to have a nice, slick, hydrating facial oil to do this technique properly because you don't want the, the right amount of pressure is that scraping feeling where it's like a gentle lifting of the skin, but not so hard that you're irritating the skin. You don't want to pull on it and create more damage. This is all about bringing your skin back into balance. So starting from the jawline out, and you can use any side that feels comfortable. You do have this nice notch side on this one. So you, you're working from the, from the chin all the way out to the outer jawline here. And my dad grinds his teeth and has lots of tension here <laughs> from being mad that I'm late for everything. And so you just want to work it out with the little no, here. So you can see you just sort of do what feels good. And this is like I'm saying, you're, you know, personalize this so it feels good on you. Then here you can, again, you can use the notch side or you can take the sort of longer side of the tool and work out here along the cheek. And one thing to keep in mind is you want to keep the tool flat to your face. I think a lot of people, your, te your belief is to go straight ahead. You actually want to keep it flat to the face. You're getting that cooling sensation of the stone as well. Here from the center, don't fall asleep on me, dad. Here <laughs> from the center of the brows working up and wiggle it at the hairline. So many of these acupressure points happen here at the hairline. So just making sure you're wiggling as you go and working out in sort of a rainbow fashion is what I like to do to personalize again my own way. But here's the part you're gonna love best, dad. At the neck, you're gonna just, again, holding the tool flat, you're gonna work up the neck here. And this helps if you have that sort of you know sagging neck that I think a lot of us are concerned by. <laughs> but the best part is once you work your way out to the outer corner, this, what's this muscle called? Sterocleidomastoid. There will be a test. Yes, a quiz. Um, so you take the notch side of your tool and you just drag it up the sternal coidal mastoid <laughs> and wiggle it here at the base of the ear 
carefully, carefully moving it up. So much facial tension is held here at the neck. We're all on our phones all the time. We're all on our computers all the time. You're hunched over like this. It's all happening here and having tightness in your neck drags your face down. So avoid that by beautifully just sort of pulling this up at the neck, wiggling it at the hairline. You can do the same thing at the back of the neck. I love this little tool. And you had asked, I was a skeptic at first. I really just didn't understand. I honestly didn't have time to add more layers to my skincare. I didn't understand why it was going to be so beneficial. I tried it on a lark and I was blown away. I really could see definition, even just a five minute simple facial massage like I just showed you. You know, I like to do it five times on each placement. Um, I saw definition at the jawline. I saw definition at the cheekbones. I saw a lifted effect, less puffiness under my eyes with a stone. I mean, it was just so cool. So that's for you. <laughs> These ideas are not new. Not new at all. And I'm just a recent devotee, but this is rooted in thousands year old tradition, traditional Chinese medicine. And there's actually tons of simple effective secrets to beauty like Gua Sha that originate in Chinese medicine. I put a, a lot of them in our new book with you, Sana, called Yin Yang Yu. Yes. Make that cover. I love that. Because I believe they're great beauty ideas that many can benefit from. But guys, We've been trying to look better for a long time, right? Yes, for we have. Known human history. Yes, so we have, ladies. So take advantage of the wisdom. All right. Next on Daphne Skin Regimen is what we're calling Serum Mania. Serums, serums, they're everywhere. <laughs> Why so popular now? You know, I think serums are great because they're really effective. They're really efficient. I think a lot of us, especially, you know, we had some time over quarantine to look at ourselves in the mirror and think, what could I be doing that would add a real benefit that doesn't take a lot of time? And serums are a great thing that I've incorporated into my skincare regimen. You know, there's all different range of items from discoloration, dryness, um, you know, hyperpigmentation, all kinds of things. I personally really like a vitamin C serum. And this is just one example of something you could find. Topical vitamin C is really great for brightening and discoloration I've had or pregnancies, I, I've had um, you know, pregnancy mask and discoloration. I live in Florida, sunspots. So I found that vitamin C has been really helpful to help brighten my skin up. There are a couple things to look for. You definitely want it to be at the right potency level and you need a buffer so it doesn't degrade. Having a dark colored glass like this is always a good indication because it means that sunlight isn't getting in to really accelerate the degradation of that vitamin C. Again, I'm not a dermatologist. This is just stuff you're, that you're I like read a, and I love and like I'm into. You're like a chemist. You said it all. It's so I, all where are my glasses? I want I want the like, you know, the medical lab glasses. I'm just gonna reinforce what you said about vitamin C is so important. It treats a variety of inflammatory skin conditions, it can minimize the redness and the pigmentation mission. This is actually shown in clinical trials, so I'm proud that you've learned it. It looks beautiful going on too. It feels good. That's part of it too, is like what are the little ways you can feel good in your day? It doesn't take a long time. This you put it in your hands, you press it on your face, but when you get up and you look in the mirror, feeling good about yourself really does take you to, an ex to another level in your day. Just before you hear, Bobby, I'm hungry. <laughs> no, for the 50th time since <laughs> 7 a.m. Yeah. Coming up, are you, are you overwashing your face with a 15-step regimen? You're not alone. Uh, or maybe you're underwashing and don't like the way your skin looks. Stay with us for the simplified how-to face washing regimen by Daphne. She swears by it. Oh my goodness, look at all the way people are washing their face. But you know, here I thought I could just splash a little water on my face. I call it a day and I thought I was good for years. I did that, I was wrong. Today we are simplifying though. My daughter Daphne is here to show you the how-to for face washing that will leave your skin cleansed and toned without all the fuss. But by the end of the segment, you will have an easy to follow how-to. Right, so Daphne's first step in the face, to, in the face wash how-to is to remove your makeup with coconut oil. She actually posted a video of herself doing it why do you recommend this tactic? I love this thing. You guys, you will never take off your makeup another way once you see how easy and effective coconut oil is. So what you saw me do here was just loosen my makeup up with some warm water. Then I scrub a little bit of this coconut oil over my face. It's obviously just a really soft melting oil. It melts between your palms. It literally dissolves. I mean, look, I just wiped it off. That was a paper oh. towel in your kitchen, Dad. I just took it right off in one process. So we tempted Nina. She's joining us from her bathroom. She's Nina. been taking makeup off with the coconut oil. How are you, Nina? Okay, Hi. look at her makeup so far. Here she is. Oh, I'm very well, thank you for asking. So I am a professed makeup junkie. I've been wearing makeup since I was 16 years old. I, ugh, my current obsession are magnetic lashes. Oh. I've cooked with coconut oil being a chef. I've baked with it being a chef. And people just don't know coconut oil literally can remove every oh, look at that. trace of makeup <laughs> off your face. Look and at that washcloth. I'm a lot older than Daphne, 
And I'm pretty sure I have to use a lot more products to get my makeup off. Can I, I mean, see? Can I see the I, towel? Oh my goodness! Wow! 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 <laughs> Phil, I mean, it's you know, it's all my makeup. I use primers. I use setting powders. I use bronzers. Um, the whole nine. And then, if I'm really in a rush with the coconut oil, I'll put it on my face, jump in the shower, mm -hmm. and then whatever is left close to my hairline, I literally will run that through my hair. Well, that's an extra hydration. I am very proud Beyond. of you. you, you <laughs> it's just, especially as a chef, to be able to double task like that. Well, it's also it's super oh efficient. Like you just said, it's super. It, it goes. It works so quickly. You can do it in the shower, like you said, and just benefit your hair as well. But as a chef, you'll also appreciate it's also all natural. Like a lot of the makeup remover products are are chemicals. Why would you want to put that in your eyes, on your face, when you can do a literal oil that you also could cook with and have it have this great result? You know, you look beautiful. Th thank you, Nina. <laughs> thank thank you. you both so much. You've made my day. Thank you. Thank right. you. Next up, after this, we have to find a hydrating, not a stripping cleanser. I'm going to demonstrate what happens when you strip your face of your skin's natural oils mm. with a harsh soap. If you strip the surface of your skin too much, it goes from that beautiful appearance to this desert, the Sahara right there, and the lower dermis layers beneath this area begin to panic. They begin to peel away. They get irritated. They say, oh no, they send up oils. They rush oils to the surface. They end up with an oil slick, what, right? An oil spill. And that gives you this inflamed or broken out look on your skin. If you look carefully, you'll see it oftentimes. So the best cleanse solution is to use products that hydrate and smooth your skin out. Right, that's the terrain you want to be looking at when you look in the mirror. So, Daphne, what are non-drying cleansers that we could be using daily? Can I just say, this is like my favorite part of your show. I love this. <laughs> it's so cool to see how it actually plays out on a deeper <laughs> level. Um, but exactly as you said, you know, when you are overstripping your skin, when you are creating that aggravation that sends your body into hyperdrive and makes it work harder with less advantageous results, um, you just end up having to work harder yourself. I like, especially if you have drier, more mature, irritated, inflamed skin, I really like, and that's me, I have dry, sensitive skin, I really like a hydrating, moisturizing cleanser, something that is going to dive deep, remove those impurities but not strip your skin. Something like a hyaluronic acid cleansing balm, an oil-based cleanser, really powerful. Hyaluronic acid is really cool. They're like the ants of the chemical farm. They can they can carry up to a thousand times their own water weight. Mm. So it really brings hydration to your skin. That'd be simple, accessible, understandable. God bless you. You made it easy <laughs> for me. I'm going to put all these steps on Dr. <laughs> no, you better do all these tips, yes. Dad. You, <laughs> you can follow, follow Tafty on social. Obviously, got lots of tips on looking and feeling her best.